Hello, welcome to my channel. Um, just a quick video on this Ruger, this rifle here. It's a uh, Thompson Center Compass, 6.5 Creedmoor. I paid 275 bucks for it, on dirt cheap. A lot of people kind of trash talk inexpensive rifles. Um, you know, say their garbage not worth the money, junk, on the hit side of a barn. You know, you've, you've heard it if you've ever owned one. Well, today I had a pleasant experience with this rifle I wanted to share. Um, this, I live in Tennessee and we have a, a range called Dead Zero. It has electronic targets um, out to a thousand yards. And uh, today I was working on some loads using these Berger, or Berger, or Berger, however you pronounce it, 140 grain hybrid target boat tail hollow points. Um, here is said so targets they're electronic so you have a like an iPad that, that shows you your hits I don't know if you can make this out it's 600 yards a three shot group 2.06 inches doesn't even show multiple hits I think you can expand this on the on the tablet and you can see the individual hits but 2.06 at 600 yards this guy this was my best group. I had a 3.77 and a 5.41 or 1.4. Anyway, the worst group was under 1 MOA, but this is like 0 0.29, 296, 294 MOA. And uh, shooting these guys here, these are, let's say, they're 140 grain Berger or Berger. Um, both tail hollow points is the hybrid target. Uh, oh, let's, let's do the YouTube safety thing. Where I can see here, unloaded, nothing in, in the rifle there. Um, this is the Thompson Center Compass. I'm using a uh, Cabela's or Bass Pro Shops has them. Uh, the Covenant 7 53556 with a 34 millimeter main tube. Absolutely the best scope there is out there period bar none for 400 bucks I mean just just that's it best one you can get in, in my opinion but a lot of the people do anyway um, 40 4350 hogged in 4350 uh, 40.8 grains which is well under the max um, 40.8 grains of 4350 and the most accurate loads were at 2.966 and 2.962 overall length. Uh, you know, here's my brass. No, uh, no overpressure signs. You know, just a, just a good load. And I think the velocity, the average velocity was 1,800 or so feet per second uh, for these three shot groups 1803 I think is one of the ones I saw but um, you know myth dispelled about inexpensive rifles not being accurate or worth the crap this thing's got about a two and a half to three pound trigger it's user adjustable although you have to take the action out of the stock to do it stock is cheap stock is junk it's functional but it's cheap uh, I think this one's about to get a, a um, Boyd's at one uh, stock, I think, is what's about to happen for this guy here because I just have just one of my best, best days at the range ever. I mean, I've been doing long range precision shooting for a year, been reloading for about the same amount of time, or about I was long range shooting about a year and a half, reloading for about a year, and uh, to get three um, sub MOA groups at 600 yards with a $275 rifle. Man, I don't know what better endorsement you could ask for. So that's it. If you're ever thinking about uh, buying a Thompson Center Compass, uh, man, I, you just can't go wrong. Thanks for watching.